A fuerte is a ballet term referencing a whipping movement. Grant lists 19 fuerte variants, but the most popular and attention-grabbing is called a fuerte ronde jambe en tournant. This is a dramatic and iconic step for females, featured in Swan Lake, Don Quixote, and Flames of Paris variations. For better or for worse, some ballet fans view the step as the ultimate testing ground of any ballerina. In this video, I provide some of my favorite steps demonstrating breathtaking athleticism and technique from the world's greatest ballerinas, along with historical perspective. The importance of the step is much debated among ballet fans, and for final thoughts, I give my views on fuertes in the broader context of ballet. The Fuerte Ronde de Jambe en Tournant is a series of turns on the supporting leg while being propelled by a whipping movement of the working leg. Here's the Royal Ballet's Akani Takada. Here Akani fondues on her left leg, at the same time opening her right leg, called a Ronde de Jambe, a circular movement of the leg, to second position on layer. She then releves on point on her left leg, executing a turn onto oar and whipping the right foot in back of, then quickly in front of her left knee. The working leg should be at hip level, with the foot crossing to the knee of the supporting leg. On her fondue, her right arm is in front and left arm to the side, third position, with her right arm following her leg to the side, second position. She repeats the movement multiple times. The basic fuerte movement is similar across dancers, but dancers can differ widely on where in the step they fondue, which is a bending of the supporting leg. Akani takes her fondue when her working leg is a little past the front, as this still demonstrates, where I stop the action when her heel hits the floor. I think most dancers fondue near the front, as in this example. There can be wide variation, with the Royal Ballet's Marianela Nunez taking her fondue to the corner well before she hits front, before taking her leg to the side. As we will see in a few minutes, one prominent school teaches dancers to fondue to the side, as demonstrated by Svetlana Zaharova. Ultimately, these subtleties are personal choices that are usually, but not always, determined by training. Historical Background Perina Lagani is the ballerina widely credited for first doing 32 fuertes on point in a performance of Cinderella in 1893 in St. Petersburg, Russia. When she originated the role in Marius Petipoff and Liev Ivanov's revival version of Swan Lake in 1895, Petipoff added 32 fuertes specifically for her, setting the standard for future ballerinas. The following clips are my favorite examples of the step and show dancers taking the standard single fuerte series demonstrated by Akani to a higher level by adding additional turns and or varying arm positions. Given the momentum the step generates, many creative variants are possible, allowing dancers to personalize the step. First is Jillian Murphy of American Ballet Theater. She joined ABT in 1996 as a member of the Corps and was promoted to soloist in 1999 and principal dancer in 2002. She is one of the great turners in the ballet world with great athleticism combined with stellar technique. This is Jillian in the Black Swan Pas de Deux in 2005 with Angel Correa. Jillian starts with a double pirouette onto or before proceeding to her fuertes. Dancers add various innovations to the basic single fuerte theme we examined earlier from Akani. Some variants can be very creative as dancers play to their strengths. Here Jillian gains momentum with two single fuertes, followed by a triple pirouette, which is very difficult when on point. She repeats this segment four times before doing single fuertes, finishing with a double pirouette to a secure fourth position. Few dancers can consistently add triple pirouettes to the series with great control. A hallmark of a great turner is consistency of positions over the series. I captured her second position from turn to turn. Here Jillian's symmetry and consistency is amazing, with little variation from turn to turn turn, remaining in about the same spot where she started. Note her nicely turned out second positions with her right arm slightly lower than her left on each turn, all in approximately the same spot. In addition to her consistency, her turnout in second is how dance instructors teach the step, but many dancers do not hit a second position and go into the turn early. Less proficient dancers are all over the place in their body positions, making the step look awkward and out of sync. Inconsistent body positions may also cause them to travel, sometimes as much as 10 feet or more, as their turns progress as they wander from one side of the stage to another. The Fuerte examples thus far in this video follow the Cicchetti or Italian method. 
there's also a Russian school Fuete variant, as demonstrated by Svetlana Zaharova. Rather than taking the fondue in front, or quasi devant for some dancers, and circling the leg to the side, the Russian school has the dancer fondue directly to the side on layer, in second position. Because the fondue is directly to the side, Svetlana's second position is more pronounced than the other examples in this video. I looked at a number of Russian trained dancers on YouTube, and many employ the Chiketti Fuete variant, including other Russian trained dancers featured in this video. I would think that a dancer doing Chiketti method Fuetes can generate more power and energy into the turn relative to Russian school, which probably explains why most dancers employ the Chiketti approach. Russian school Fuetes emphasize the second position, which can be visually appealing. The downside is that the movement can be abrupt and jerky. It is a mistake to think that razzle-dazzle in Fuetes is a recent phenomenon. One of the great turners was Soviet-era dancer Ekaterina Maximova. She was one of the foundations of the Bolshoi Ballet, along with her husband Vladimir Vasiliev, in the 1960s and 70s. Here is a clip of her in Don Quixote from 1971. Her Fuete innovation related to having her hands on her hips. After single Fuetes, she does a double pirouette with hands on her hips, followed by a turn in Attitude Devon, leg bent in front. After repeating several times, she does single fuete turns with hands on her hips, an innovation common today. Hands on hips placement makes the turns more difficult because she cannot use her arms for momentum. The next clip is of Devin Tusher of ABT in Swan Lake in 2022. Devin joined ABT in 2007 and was promoted to principal dancer in 2017. This pirate clip from an audience member shows her strong technique in what is arguably the most difficult fuete sequence of this video. She tells me that fuetes are one of her favorite steps that she started doing even before taking ballet lessons. She starts with a triple pirouette and then does double fuete turns nine consecutive times, followed by 15 single fuetes, finishing with a solid double pirouette. Doing double fuetes consecutively is extremely difficult because the dancer cannot right herself with several single turns if something is off kilter. If a dancer is off on any part of the double turn, going into another double turn will only magnify the problem. The slow motion clip shows that Devin hits her second position consistently with no traveling. Note her upright carriage of her upper body with no wavering or extraneous movements. These points are vital when doing a variant that allows for very little margin of error. Paulina Semyonova is another great turner that does double fuetes. She has danced with numerous companies globally, including ABT, Mikhailovsky Ballet, and the Bavarian State Ballet. Note her rigid upper body and consistent placement of her arms in first position throughout the turns, another stellar example of this step. The power and force that is generated in the turns makes this step fertile ground for many creative innovations. Here is another great turner, Tamara Rojo in Don Quixote. After dancing for the English National Ballet, she joined the Royal Ballet in 2000 as a principal dancer, dancing lead roles until she left to become the artistic director of the English National Ballet in 2012. In 2022, she was appointed the artistic director of San Francisco Ballet. The first part of her fuetes is similar to Jillian's, with single fuetes with triple pirouettes. Her turns are spot on, done with great confidence and purpose. At the halfway mark, she changes her spot from the front to the side by doing an extra quarter turn with fuetes and a triple pirouette. Then she changes perspective to the back with a double pirouette, then to the other side, finishing in front, ending with a triple pirouette. The quarter turns are not that common, although I have seen Maria Kochitkova and Yuriko Kajia do them when they were at ABT. The quarter turn innovation is difficult because the dancer changes perspective, requiring precise spotting and stamina. One of the most innovative Fuete turners is Natalia Osipova, known for her acrobatic leaping and turning skills. A global star, Osipova joined the Royal Ballet as a principal dancer in 2013 after dancing at ABT, the Mikhailovsky Ballet, and the Bolshoi Ballet. Her Fuetes are a bit different from other dancers who hit or come close to hitting a second position, leg to the side, after fondue in front with a rond de jambe to the side before going to retire position, foot to the knee. As we have seen, Gillian Murphy hits a traditional second position. In contrast, Osipova bounces up quickly after her fondue to the front, going to a retire position faster than Jillian. 
never really hitting a second position. This is probably not the way dance instructors teach the step, but it works for Osipova, possibly allowing her to generate ample momentum into her turns. Osipova's Fuerte series are very creative with numerous variants. In this clip, she does turns in second position, broken up by double and triple pirouettes before doing traditional Fuertes. Turns in second position, also known as pirouette a la sacone, is a step generally done by men, as shown here by ABT's Jose Manuel Carreño in Swan Lake. In Flames of Paris, she adds a leap in second position to the side, another unusual variant. She then adds double turns with hands on her hips, similar to Maximova decades earlier. Another Osipova innovation is breaking up the turns by doing a pique turn, followed by a tour dégagé. After a turn, she puts her right foot down with her left leg in retiré, like a pique turn, then using her left leg as her support leg, does a tour dégagé with right leg in retiré as she continues her turns. Traveling on fuertes is generally not intentional, as the goal is to do the turns in a single location. Here, Osipova does single fuertes, intentionally traveling along a diagonal, a rare variant of the step, finishing with four pirouettes. This demonstrates her control, allowing her to remain stationary or move during the step. Finally, here is Marianela Nunez of the Royal Ballet in Swan Lake. She mixes double and triple pirouettes between fuertes, another commanding example of the step. Critics and ballet fans debate the importance of fuertes. It's not unusual to hear crowd members roar and scream in approval of superior and unusual turns. On the other hand, some argue the step is a bore, as musicality and dramaticism should be valued over brute force athleticism. Fuertes serve as eye candy for pumping up Instagram followers at the expense of artistry, they argue. Historically, fuertes are not mandatory for ballet stardom, as a hall of fame of great ballerinas avoided the step. Recently, ABT's Misty Copeland's struggles with the step generated much heated online debate among ballet fans about the modern day necessity of the step in evaluating a female dancer. My view is that fuertes should not be the standard by which a female dancer is evaluated, as there are other dimensions that make a dancer compelling, such as musicality, jumps, and dramaticism. However, fuertes are important for some bravura ballets, particularly Don Quixote, and it is difficult to imagine a great Keytree performance without stellar fuertes. Fuertes are like food. I like nutritious Brussels sprouts, but I need chocolate souffle every now and then, and there's no reason why I can't have both. Fuertes are also highly correlated with other steps. A dancer that excels in fuertes is also likely to stand out in other athletic turns. I have seen dancers that are not proficient in, at fuertes struggle through Italian fuertes, another treacherous step in the fuerte family. Of course, technique, pointed feet, turnout is critical and compromises to eke out an additional turn, ruin the effect of any step. What are your thoughts on fuertes? A thrilling segment? or an unnecessary display of athleticism. We'd like to hear your thoughts on stellar Fuerte turners, and if you are a dancer, your experience with the step. Thanks for tuning in.